Hey, hi, how you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome to the Gamertron Show. Today we have a topic that annoys the hell out of me to talk about. Video game graphics and the over-obsession with them. If you don't know already, I'm sure you guys probably already do if you're a frequent viewer of my videos and my channel, you know I love video games. I think they are an incredible work of art and my preferred means of entertainment. However, something horrible has happened. Something absolutely horrible. New video game consoles have been released. The Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Now, there's nothing wrong with releasing new video game consoles. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I have no problem, no issue, but apparently all of you do. For some reason, because new video game consoles has been released, the majority of gamers are now, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, expecting ultra realistic, super high def video game graphics. Doesn't matter if the game is perfectly good looking, runs fine, looks good. It's not revolutionary, it's not super high-def, ultra-frequency, super-realistic, virtual-reality graphics. One moment while I slam my head into a wall. There we go. Allow me to point out the obvious. Video game graphics are never going to get better than how they are right now. We have reached the pinnacle of how good games can look. However, because of the release of these new video game consoles and the rise of the lie and the utter bullshit that is next gen, I see this come up so often and said so often, there is no such thing as next gen people. I know you're trying to say next generation of consoles. It's not a gener generation. Are you serious? They're new video game consoles that run slightly better, slightly better than the older consoles. Just because new consoles have been released, not next gen. Everybody believes next gen should all of a sudden be super realistic, ultra, ultra high def realistic graphics. The release of new consoles does not mean games are all of a sudden going to look exactly like real life. And if graphics matter so damn much to you, why are you even playing on a console? If all you people do is complain about how your consoles don't have next-gen graphics, something that does not exist, if graphics are so important to you, um, there's this little thing called a PC. If you want games to look their best and look as beautiful as they possibly can, get a PC with a damn good graphics card. You want Watch Dogs to look like the E3 2012 demo? Get Watch Dogs on the PC and make sure you have an up-to-date graphics card. You want a first-person shooter that has realistic lighting, beautiful colors, textures, graphics, can get you immersed in the experience? Play the Crisis games, play the Crisis trilogy on PC if you want the best first-person shooter graphics. Maybe you're not into first-person shooters. Maybe you want to explore a fantasy world filled with forests, dragons, elves, and endless quests and loot. Get Skyrim on the PC, and enable a graphics mod. I have a graphics mod installed in Skyrim. And the game looks ten times better than vanilla Skyrim, than the original Skyrim. If graphics matter so damn much to you, and all you can do is bitch about the graphics on your new console, then go on PC! However, you shouldn't be bitching about graphics in the first place. The release of new video game consoles does not mean graphics are all of a sudden going to take a legendary, astronomical leap in technology. It just means new consoles with games that'll look slightly better, but 
they'll look their best on PC. Again, if graphics matter that much to you, just get a PC. However, graphics shouldn't matter that much to you. Let me tell you about the three pillars. The triad. The triforce of what creates a video game. Graphics, gameplay, and setting. Those are the three pillars of what creates a video game. Graphics, gameplay, and setting. And yes, graphics is one of those pillars. One out of three. One out of three of the most important aspects that create a video game. Graphics are there for you to visualize the setting of the game. And they are there to give you context to let you see how you affect the game through gameplay. Let me give you another example. Same three pillars, but this time for a book, a novel. Graphics? Graphics for a video game is the cover of the book. It gives you a visual context as to what you're going to be reading. The setting is, well, the setting is the book, um, the genre. Is it a love story? Is it a thriller? A sci-fi? A mystery? And, uh, Gameplay for a book would be what words are used within the book. What are the words forming? What actions, characters, and locations are being presented, and how are they interacting with one another? Tell me, out of all those things I mentioned concerning a book, what was the most important? Ah, yes, the plot itself. The gameplay. Just... As plot is the most important thing in a book, gameplay is the most important thing in a game. Graphics only give you visual context. Don't get me wrong, while graphics, in my personal opinion, everybody has their own personal opinion as to their stance on graphics, it is not the strongest, most important pillar of the free things that help create a game. However, that doesn't mean that this pillar should be poorly constructed either. It doesn't mean that graphics shouldn't be at least up to date with the certain standard that that year it is being released in. I expect a game made in 2009 to look like other games, to have the same amount of quality as other games released in 2009. I do not expect a game released in 2014 to have the same graphical quality as a game released in 2009, it must be up to the standard of games being released in 2014. I believe that graphics should be kept up to date. Textures should have a certain amount of detail for the time. Lighting should be as dynamic as the graphic engine will allow it at the time. Resolution! Good God, so many people complain about resolutions nowadays. Resolutions should be whatever your console can handle, whatever the game being made for that console can handle, and whatever in PC. If resolutions, good god, so many people bitch about resolutions when it comes to graphics. On PC, you can pick your own resolution. However, my overarching message throughout this video is that video game graphics are not the deal maker or the deal breaker for a video game. Resolutions, frames per second, textures, lighting, all of that should not completely be the basis of how you judge a product. Graphics should be kept up to date for the time, for the year the game is being released in. The release of new consoles does not mean graphics are all of a sudden going to become real life realistic. And graphics are not the only thing that create a game. There is also setting and gameplay. What is the story? Where is this game taking place? The setting. How does the game play? How do you move around? What are its mechanics? The gameplay. How does the game look? Graphics. There are more important things to a game than just how it looks. I have nothing wrong with a game looking pretty, looking beautiful. M a majority of games do. However, we gotta get our heads out of our arses, out of the gutter. Gamers need to stop being 
feeling so entitled to the most realistic graphics possible. This has been the Gamertron. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. Please leave a comment in the comments below of what you thought of the video and what you think of the subject I'm talking about. And I will see you all later.